Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of Monday Market Minute. I'm Jen, your Delaware Realtor. In February, we saw continued rising inflation, which put greater pressure on the Fed to raise interest rates, which is pretty much in line with what we were expecting. Now, what I don't think anyone was expecting was a war to break out with Russia invading Ukraine and the economic uncertainty that comes along with that, which makes it extremely difficult to predict how this market is going to be going forward. But let's take a look back at the numbers for February. We had 1,417 new listings, which is up almost 200 new listings since January. We had 1,199 homes go pending, which is also up from January. 1,057 homes close, which is down from the previous month. The average days on market jumped to 37 days, which is a number that we have not seen since before the pandemic. The average selling price dropped almost $20,000 to $384,654, with the average interest rate being 3.7%, according to Freddie Mac, also a number we have not seen since 2020. This is a slightly more dramatic response to the higher interest rates than I was anticipating, but I also was not expecting for a war to break out. The increase in interest rates diminishing buyers' purchasing power along with the increase in new listings as the weather breaks and we're ramping up for the spring market in and in itself would be enough to halt home price appreciation, if not even cause a slight pullback. But then add in a major conflict with a global superpower who has the second largest nuclear arsenal in the world is lining up to be the straw that broke the camel's back in our ever resistant housing market. Although the data shows for February that the average selling price went down and we had more listings, I can tell you that if you're a buyer in this market, it probably doesn't feel like that. Mostly because desirable homes are still selling for 30, 40, even $50,000 over asking with multiple offers lightning fast. It still remains to be seen if the rise in interest rates and the global economic uncertainty will really have a substantial effect on this market because inventory is extremely low by historical standards. And even though buyer's purchasing power is diminishing, there is enough demand to drive up the sales of desirable homes. I very much expect this to continue through the spring and summer market, but I also could be starting to see a market shift where the homes that are less desirable, maybe need a little bit of TLC or maybe need repairs, will start to sit on the market, maybe not get any offers, maybe get one offer, and the sellers are going to have to start to entertain offers that are not conventional and maybe even start to give sellers assistance again. But let it be said, if homes are still selling for at least asking price, we are very much still in a seller's market and we will not see it shift into a buyer's market until the number of listings outnumbers the number of mortgage applications. I'm going to go out on a limb here and make a prediction. Although everything is doom and gloom and the numbers do not look great, I do expect that this seller's market will continue on even if it takes a little breather here. And I say that because I do not think that the Fed will be able to continue its hard stance on inflation, especially with what's going on in Ukraine. And I do expect that in the next couple of months, we are going to see a massive defense bill passed, which is going to keep the Fed printing money, which then that when that happens, that usually continues to drive asset price up. But like usual, we will have to wait and see how this all plays out. But I will keep you up to date on the ever changing real estate market. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss an important video. I really hope that this video helps. If you are a seller in this market and you would love a instant valuation of your home, 
please click the link down in the description. And if you are a buyer looking to buy in Delaware, I would love to set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you also click the link down below in the description. Once again, I really hope that this video helps. If it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new video. And I will see you on the next one. Hey, are you an FHA buyer in this market? You might want to check out this video right here. And if you would love to tour Delaware New Construction Homes with me, check out this playlist right here. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel.